Oh, it's only taken me 30, well, no, 50 years to realize three things about people. The first is that we all create and tell stories in our mind that define us. And for me as a former CEO, former naval officer, and now an executive coach for CEOs and business owners, the story that defined me for most of my life was bull in the china shop. And that over what caused that was most of my life, I would cross this line between power and destruction. And that I did that in ways that were entirely focused on mission, vision, strategy, and that I would not be focused enough on the people around me and engage in a meaningful way. And in the last five to 10 years, I've made a subtle shift in my story. Instead of the bull in the china shop, I've become a bull thriving in the china shop. And I've shifted my focus daily to how can I be more present and in the moment in every interaction I have, and it's made a tremendous difference in my life. The second thing I've realized about all people is that we're all bulls. That bull is a gender neutral team term for me that just signifies each of us has inner power and strength. And that when we look at each other as bulls, we all fall into three distinct groups. And the first group of bulls are those bulls that are in the ring. And we all know these bulls. Hurt, angry, bloodied, wounded, disgruntled. The second group of bulls are those bulls that are led by the ring, that are passive, numb, waiting for direction, afraid, just going through the motions. The third group of bulls are those bulls that are ringing the bell, that are celebrating life, that are passionate, that are driven, that look at life in a way that is worth celebrating. And when we think about this concept of ringing the bell, we've all seen bells at the exits of restaurants, stores, where if you've had a great experience, ring the bell. Sales forces throughout the, the world use a bell to signify a big sale. Sports teams have victory bells where they ring the bell after an important win. We all, as bulls, fall in each of those three rings. We move throughout there based on our circumstances, what's going on in our life, but we also gravitate toward one of those types of bulls more often than not. And the two factors that control who we are as a bull, the first is story. And I alluded to that earlier with my story. We as human beings, when an event occurs, we assign meaning. We create a story. The story becomes sensationalized, most often bigger than the actual event that occurred. The story stays with us for our entire life. It controls our thoughts, our beliefs, our actions. And those stories range from powerful to destructive. The second factor that controls who we are as a bull is our presence or engagement. And we've all had moments where we're fully engaged in the moment. We've also had moments where we're completely distracted. Now with the advent of digital devices, we all look at this all the time. It beeps, it chimes, it buzzes, we look at it. We look at it when we wake up. We look at it before we go to bed. Much like we go on a diet to lose weight, we need to contemplate a device diet where we put this in our pocket and we engage with those people around us. As we think about those two factors and the impact they have on bulls, we go back to the stories for those bulls that are in the ring. Stories of combative nature. I win, you lose. Stories of I can push and shove my way there and I'll get what I want. And while their engagement is high, we all think when we're angry, upset, fully engaged, but in a destructive way. If we then look at bulls that are led by the ring, we have these stories of haplessness, helplessness, I can't, I'm afraid to try, I'll wait for someone else to do it, um, and that our engagement is low. We are seldom when we're in the ring fully engaged. Countered by those who ring the bell. We have these positive, powerful stories that guide us toward our goals. We celebrate life, stories of I can, life is worth living. If I have a setback, it's temporary. And these ringing the bell moments are well-defined in the research. If we look at things like flow, drive, happiness advantage, there's this compelling why that drives us in a positive way, something bigger than us. We're fully present in the moment, and when we are, the most simple or mundane events can become magical. Time with our loved ones, walks in nature, sports, reading, mundane or exciting tasks at work become magical. Time fades away, the rest of the world fades away, and we all know these. 
For me, I'm reminded of these every day when I come home. I have a 175 pound English Mastiff who meets me at the back door and her whole body shakes. Her tail wags and she hits this little brass bell we have attached to the back porch and it rings and rings and rings. And it reminds me to be in the moment, fully present. It also reminds me that for all of us, this is a choice. We can choose to be in the ring, we can choose to be led by the ring, or we can choose to ring the bell. And I know many of you go, well, how do I choose? You choose your story and you choose your presence. Recently after this talk, I was approached by a gentleman. He said, well, Dave, my mom just died, my dad's dying, and you're saying just choose to be happy. I said, I'm not saying choose to be happy. Choose your story, choose your presence. Instead of the story you just told me, use a story that my mom had tremendous impact on me throughout my life. And that for the rest of my life, I'm gonna share that impact with the world. And the time I have left with my father, I'm gonna ensure that you're fully present in the moment and that you're at peace with the relationship when he passes away. For me, it's a choice. For you, it's a choice. For me, it's bull in the china shop, bull thriving in the china shop. Distracted, fully engaged. We can choose. Choose a powerful, positive story. Choose to be fully engaged and present. And choose to ring the bell. Thank you.